and a tragic tale of love turned lethal. The case of Garikai Jawanda Tabarinda unfolds like a harrowing narrative of passion and peril. The events that transpired on a fateful day in December 2016 will forever alter the course of several lives and leave the community in shock. Garikai, a 43-year-old man, was once entwined in a romantic relationship with Nancy Lorraine Sivanda for two years. Their affair began in January 2015, blossoming as they worked together at an Econet shop and later ventured into a business partnership at Ascot Shopping Centre in Gweru. He had become a gold partner and made reasonable money. However, the romance and the business soon faced stormy weather, exacerbated by Garikai's drinking habits, affairs, and hostility, plus abuse. As the relationship deteriorated, a fateful decision was made. In an act driven by jealousy and rage, Garikai alongside one Itai Manyoka, his accomplice and driver, committed an unspeakable crime. He hired Itai as his driver, went to a filling station, bought two bottles of petrol, and went to his ex's lodgings. Nancy was staying with her cousin Cynthia Tabangani, who had recently moved from Bulawayo to Gweru. Itai then parked a few houses away, and Garikai knocked on the door. He was answered by the landlady, and he asked for Nancy. When Nancy came to the door, she was afraid when she saw it was him and asked him to leave, but he threw the petrol bottle through the window and threw a match and fled the scene. The two women, Nancy, aged 28, and Cynthia, 24, were subjected to a cruel fate succumbing to severe burns that claimed their lives on the 4th and the 6th of December in hospital. Garikai was then charged with two counts of murder as the evidence pointed to a deliberate act of arson with the intention to kill. Itai, however, claimed innocence. He said that he had been afraid to confront his friend when he saw the smoke and did not know that he had deliberately burned his girlfriend and her cousin. They appeared before the high court and they were both found guilty of murder. Itai was sentenced to 15 years in jail for being an accomplice and Garikai was sentenced to death by hanging. This case served as a somber reminder of the destructive power of unbridled emotions and the irreversible consequences of violent acts. It's a story that echoes the need for justice and the enduring pain of those left behind. May their souls rest in eternal peace. <laughs>